Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. Isn't it cute? Okay, so I hope you enjoy the video. We're using Turtle Friends today with one of our new in colors that is called Soft Succulent. So it is different from the mint macaron. Um, I know people, uh, several people have asked. So here's the difference. Soft Succulent, mint macaron. They're very different. So our supplies are um, eight by six and a quarter soft succulent and then a scrap for die cutting. And then the Pansy Petals Designer Series Paper. Ooh, I cut that crooked. Um, four by two and three quarters. And then we have um, two pieces of basic white. And both of these are for die cutting and stamping, okay? Okay, now what am I doing? We're gonna stamp first. So like I said, we're using the turtle. So I'm gonna get all of these images. This is for die cutting. This one is for stamping. And we are using photopolymer. So um, I, I read earlier this week, I think it was this week, maybe it was last week, that the um, stuff to make photopolymer stamps is um, becoming difficult to get. I'm like, oh no, not our stamps. Um, we're going to use this in just a minute, but we're going to color this first. So while I'm stamping, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the little, um, it's a bow tie or a hair bow. Uh, we're going to use it as a hair bow. The rest of the stamping we'll do in just a little bit. So I am using the Soft Succulent Blends. And I'm gonna start with the dark first. Those of you that are just joining us, good morning, good afternoon. Whatever time zone you're on. This is the dark soft succulent. I had to water the garden for David today because he's um, out of town. And I am extremely allergic to grass. This is the light soft succulent. So I think that's what started my cough is just being out there before, well, early in the morning. Like my doctor says, if you can avoid going outside in the morning, it's best. Um, but, you know, I had to take Bella out first thing and then water the garden and pick the fruit. Or not the fruit, but the vegetables. We have, today I picked two cucumbers and a zucchini. This will be our first zucchini to eat. Um, and our it's third and fourth cucumber. David accused me of picking the other ones too soon the other day, and oh my gosh, they were fabulous, so he had to take it back. <laughs> we don't have... <clears throat> we don't have any ripe tomatoes yet. In fact, we only have like teeny, teeny, tiny proof that we have tomatoes. The, the plants are beautiful and we have lots of flowers, but just a few tomatoes starting. Uh-oh. Oh no, that's right. I did right. I thought I went out of the line, but I didn't. Now, we're going to take the ink pad. Uh, I saw one of my downline do this yesterday. You can flip this image over. So flip it over if it's clean. And you can stamp this shell. Um, well, I'll show you in just a minute. How about we do that? I'll show you a little thing. I was happy to see uh, 
Leslie show that. Okay. Now I'm just we're just gonna do a little test because I mentioned it and why not? So we're going to flip this over. Oh, I just saw Stephanie's comment about the raised beds. Oh, I love them. In fact, this morning when I was watering, um, I um, I weeded a couple. I pulled a couple weeds because it's... So then you can do that for the shell and then now flip it back over the right way. I like coloring with my blends. I really can't hardly talk today. I'm gonna to sound like a nut when I watch the, um, the playback when I'm trying to edit it. Okay, so now that was just um, a test. We're not actually using it. So we're gonna cut the turtle out with the turtle punch. <clears throat> and now we're gonna fussy cut the little bow, which is not too difficult to do. I said that and then I'm like, oh goodness, I better not mess up. Okay, there we go. And we're using the uh, stitched rectangle and what are these called? Scallop contour dies. <laughs> and here's the two the two pieces that we're using. Whoops. Okay. So let's make sure we don't lose those. Oh, I need my cutting plates. We have a one and a two and a three. I think I can do both of uh, these at the same time. Yeah, I can. Uh, my new sewing machine, um, the bobbin won't wind. I've tried everything. Um, so I, I went to a featherweight maintenance class yesterday with Nova Montgomery. Um, if you own a featherweight, you probably know her. Um, and when she came over to ask how I was doing, I said, I'm a hot mess. Um, I meant my bobbin was a hot mess. Anyway, yes, I signed up for this class a long time ago, um, not knowing that life was going to be so crazy. And I contemplated canceling at the last minute, and David said, no, I will go to Topeka. Um, he said, no, you should go. So I'm like, okay, I went. So I was there all day yesterday learning how to properly clean my featherweight but my bobbin still won't wind so not sure what's going on now we'll set this aside all those pieces 
and we're gonna start our box. Now, let me get the Simply Scores pouring tool. Okay, so we're gonna score this <clears throat> on the landscape side, which is the eight inch side, at three quarters. <clears throat> three and three quarters, four and a half, and seven and a half. We're gonna turn it on the portrait side, which is six and a quarter, <clears throat> and we're gonna score it at a half an inch one and a quarter, and five and a half. Okay, that's how it looks. Let me get my bone folder. So we're gonna fold on the score lines and burnish with our bone folder. Okay, so what you want to make sure you do is keep your half inch side, your half inch on your left side. This is three quarters of an inch. We're going to keep that on the right, okay? I'm going to cut this section off here. And then angle cut this, okay? Then moving down to the right, we're gonna cut up to the score line on each of these. Okay, so we're not gonna touch this part, so we're just gonna fold that down. The next section, we're going to cut there and then trim, I always say trim the tabs. So fold that under, we're done with that one. Now this piece here, we're gonna completely remove. And then this one we're gonna trim. And then. Okay, now again, we have our half inch strip over here. So we're gonna remove this part here and then angle cut, 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 angle it, and down here. So putting the half inch strip back over here on the left side, this is how it looks now. I'm gonna take the Detailed Trio Punch and I'm going to round the corners. Okay, so let's add some tearing tape to this uh, half inch strip here. And then we're gonna take the backing off of the tear and tape and just fold this over, okay? So that's the back of our box. This is the front. So we're gonna put adhesive on the bottom front. <clears throat> so, oops, I see a little sliver there. Okay, so this folds, these tabs fold in, and then this closes just like that. But if you give this box to someone, they might not know where to open it. So we're just going to add a little <clears throat> half circle. <coughs> um, this is the retired three quarter inch circle punch. You can use whatever punch you have. And I didn't cut a half, I only cut a sliver of it. 
We might cut more once we add the designer series paper. So this is gonna go on front here. And as you can see, we will need to um, trim that ag again. Oh yeah, it could be a crayon box, you're right. Except it's a little um, skinnier, maybe. This pack of designer series paper is really awesome. The um, A side and the B side is good. So now we'll take that punch again, and I'm just gonna cut it just a little bit more, okay? So that's how it looks. I'm gonna show you some items that will fit in there. I got my little handy dandy basket. So I've got a little mini charm pack. I need to get a new one. I keep showing you the llama one. So that'll fit in there along with some Burt's Bees. Um, you can also fit a little tape measure in there and a Burt's Bees. So it's a nice size box. Um, it will hold like snack size candy. So it'll hold two packs of those. Um, again, the little, if you're a sewer or a quilter, uh, little mini clover clips and some little, let's see, will that fit in there? Nope, it's too, but it'll fit that way. So you could fit a tape measure, Burt's Bees, these little soft lips, soft lips, and some washi tape will fit in there. Okay, so I've get, given you guys lots of ideas on what you can put in there. Now we're gonna close it up. So I'm using the Soft Succulent Open Weave Ribbon. <clears throat> this is the same ribbon that I used for the Sweet as a Peach class. So it's really awesome, beautiful ribbon and it's easy to tie. Let's see, I wanna tie it on the end down here. So for them to open it, <clears throat> they'll need to um, take the ribbon off, or untie the ribbon, I should say. Okay, so this is gonna go on just like that, and I'm gonna put dimensionals on the top and the bottom so that it goes over the ribbon. So when they untie the ribbon, it won't, um, it won't take the uh, stamped image off. Hopefully I worded that right. Okay, and then this one's gonna get glued on with our liquid glue. Now we're gonna add the bow to her head. <laughs> so stinking cute. Um, and then we're gonna add a dimensional to the back of her. So we've got the rhinestones and this time I'm gonna use uh, the medium size. Put it right in the middle. Isn't that cute? Now the, the stamp set does include um, Hello Little One. So if you are needing a baby gift, baby shower gift, you could use Hello Little One. You can also use the Happy Birthday. I think I stamped that earlier. Who knows where it is? Probably the floor. Um, but yeah, it has other images that you can use here instead of Forever Friends. Okay, so that's the one we just made. And here's my other one. I actually like this one better. Cute, isn't it? 
Now, if you wanted it to be <coughs> for a boy, just move the, the bow to his neck and it can be for a boy. Okay, I'm gonna sign off and um, I hope you guys all have a great day and a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Thanks so much for being here.